I mix what I like, what I like, what I like, what I like, what I like. You've had her on your show. Yes. Uh, the, what is it? Uh, the that's Rob Badarian, right? The Color of Money. I was reading oh, yeah. this in the context. Yes, absolutely. That book, book. Put that book up again for everybody. Read that book. She ain't black, but she, she spent 10 years that. writing that book. 10 yeah. years. Now, of course, her solution is you got to change the structure. And this dovetails with folks like uh, Jared Ball and the myth of black buying power. You've got to change the structure. You can't black bank black wealth your way into liberation however that is not to say that you should not try because even at the end of this book she's still saying yeah you got to dismantle this system but it's better to have black banks than not even though black banks because they are they are still segregated as you say the money is not segregated but the people don't have access to capitalists they can't get loans can't flip so as a result if you put your money in a black bank it does have an impact in one way but that money then now is sucked back into the white system because those black banks are beholden to the super banks and of course financial times today jamie diamond and them are saying let's just hold on while these huge banks jp morgan being large in the united states are now beginning to hoard their billions in anticipation of the recession. So, I mean, I'm just, you know, as you're making this point, you know, there are those who would say, well, are you telling us we should not try to build institutions? No, quite the opposite. But don't expect that those institutions are going to free us. This structure has to be changed. So anyway, but I just wanted to inject that as you were talking, because you've talked to all these people. You talked to Messer, you talked to Jared, you've had all these kinds of things. You talked to a noble. I did a one on one conference with One United Bank mm -hmm. interviewing MRSA. So, mm -hmm. and, yeah, no, like this has kind of been when I started the radio show, my whole goal was to rebuild Black Wall Street, right? And I didn't know you then. And I didn't know about a whole lot of things that I know now. But I was like, why can't we seize the cities that we live in? Um, Baltimore, okay, all of those homes.